It was Saturday. I was awakened early in the morning by the wicket bell. I was in the summer house. I decided to take a break from the hustle and bustle of the city and from work. The air is cleaner here and I sleep better. Besides, I'd had a brandy last night, and now someone's here at this hour. Oh, it's 100% my mother-in-law checking up on me. My wife was with her father abroad. She decided to birth a child there. I'm on my own for the time being, of course, under my mother-in-law's supervision. I came, opened the gate, as I expected. There was my mother-in-law in all her glory. She looked very different today. Good morning, Marty. What took you so long to open the door? Did you go out with a woman? Good morning, Evelyn. How did you know that? Oh, come on, don't be silly. I was just kidding. I'm just in a great mood today. It was more than obvious. I've never seen her like that before. She was drunk and dressed differently than usual. There was no bra under her blouse. Her skirt was very short. She reminded me of the girls working on the highway. We walked into the house and she plopped into a chair and started pulling liquor out of her bag. Marty, get some glasses. We're having a party tonight. You became a father and I became a grandmother. My husband called and congratulated us on our granddaughter. You had a daughter. Zoe will call you tomorrow. She can't today. She's not feeling well. But you and I are going to have a great time tonight. That's good news. We can get drunk. Of course, my dear. I'll keep you company. I hope you don't mind. I'll be glad to have your company. My mother-in-law poured alcohol into glasses. Come on, my dear, for your daughter and my granddaughter. We drank one shot of whiskey with her, then another. The mother-in-law's look was downright provocative. This woman was watching my gaze and purposely provoked me with different movements. I felt the urge start to kick in. We have not had intimacy with my wife for a long time because of her pregnancy. I tried to seduce a neighbor lady today, but it didn't work out. I'll have to try with my mother-in-law, I thought. She's been waiting for me to do it for a long time, but I still can't make up my mind to do it. Constantly, when she comes to see me, she leaves the door open to the bathroom, then comes in when I'm showering. But I have no reason to resent her. She treats me very well. When she comes over, she cleans the house and cooks really well. Does she want me? I don't mind. She's only 45 years old. She doesn't live with her husband, but he supports her and her daughters. So from time to time, she needs someone to satisfy her desires. But let's not get philosophical about it. So she decides to take a shower to cheer herself up a little. Marty, I'm going to take a shower, and you get me some towels and a bathrobe, please. I'll get them. I got everything she asked for and started watching her. The alcohol added a little confidence, and it felt good. She was washing herself with the door open, and all her charms were visible. She didn't see me or pretended not to, and showered quietly. She had a great figure, of course. My mother-in-law looked great. I couldn't stand the tension, hung a towel and bathrobe on the hook and wanted to leave, but I heard a voice. Marty, where are you going? Who's going to rub my back? Take off your clothes and come to me. This is the moment of truth. I took off my clothes and walked over to her. She looked at me and I looked at her a little confused, unable to contain my desires. We did what we'd wanted to do for so long. Evelyn was very good at it. I also tried to do my best in front of my mother-in-law. Afterwards, we went to bed satisfied and slept till evening. That's how I started a new relationship with my mother-in-law and she with me.